What is good friends? I was not ready for this, but Obi just played his first game for World Cup. And I uploaded it before this one and now he plays a second game. Which is um was his anti aka Kratos Mana. And I think Anti is on team Brazil. And Obi is on team US Metro if I'm not mistaken. I also wasn't sure in the last video. And I still have to look it up to make sure, but he think he is here. And that was just, that's pretty funny because Obi brought stall in his game and now he's getting stalled. <clears throat> so Obi brings Mammoth Swine Balance with a ma um, with a man sign, which is interesting. I assume it's gonna be Z move Majorna. AV doesn't make that much sense on his team because he has um, Mantan which has pretty decent spadef and he has Mega Venusaur which can also take hits overall pretty much from both sides as long as it's not super effective. But the thing is, yeah. Oh, this team is kind of weak to cure him switch ins wise, but like, what team has switch ins to cure him? Like, let's be honest, cure him is a monster, especially with Z move. With Z moves coming out, like after they came out. <clears throat> But yeah, this is the first team and he's playing this World Cup and the second that Obi's playing for his team. And I think Team Brazil is 4-4 at the moment, unless there's any other lower gen, old gen games that I missed. But I think it was 4-4 after Nintendo's game from earlier. So he goes for Protect. I'm wondering if this... I think this is just going to be Scarf Tabulele. Especially when you have a Manta that can check Volcarona, you can run... You can afford to run Scarf Tabulele and Obi just plays it safe. Moomless again on the obvious chance he... Man, I'm kind of getting tired of people using stall. The last stall game was funny, because it was like a buzzwall and it was not that long. I mean, it actually was 9 39 minutes, but still. <clears throat> okay, so... Maybe his Hooper is shut shell to avoid getting trapped by Dagi, but... So he's not Scarf Tapu Lily, so it's really funny in World Cup. Because when I think that Tapu Lily is going to be Scarf, it's not Scarf. Because I was just about to say that his Hooper could be Scarf. And the second I realized his Hooper could be Scarf. And not the Lily, he switches up moves with his Lily, so now, like, now I look like a fool. So Anti, I can see Anti switching out into Mew or Sableye, depending on what he wants to. Like if he wants to predict the Taunt, he can go into Sableye here. But it's a bit unnecessary risky. I mean, he can also just stay in on the taunt because he doesn't lose health on the turn if the Lele goes for taunt, but it's gonna be bad for Anti if he stays in on the taunt because he's gonna have to play around this type of Lele with a half head with a half health chancy. Like usually, uh, people have brought teams like two or three times that are kind of weak to Volcarona in my opinion. Oh, he didn't go for taunt. Well, so Anti gets it correct. Softballing up again. Now he goes for taunt. I think if he goes for Psychic Toss, he is a genius, but he just goes for softball again. But now his Psychic Tyrant ran out. Um, but yeah, he can still side shock here. It's gonna do like 25, maybe? It's not gonna do much without the terrain. So I assume this is a Shed Shell Tabulator later then. Like at first I thought it was Scarf, but if I think about the stall matchup for a while, it's pretty obvious that one of these two mons have to be Shed Shell, because the stall matchup is gonna be pretty bad otherwise. Like he kinda just auto loses to stall if they are not Shed Shell, at least one of them, yeah. So I thought it's gonna be Scarf Hooper then, I guess I got that wrong again, classic. <laughs> actually, it's not in every game, sometimes I actually get the sets correct. But yeah, Tabu Bulu on stall or semi stall is interesting, yeah, it's probably gonna be protected to see Tabu Bulu. Um, I've seen ABI use Bulu on like a bulky team and it had Whirlwind, I'm not really sure what it's for specifically, probably just to prevent setup or to get damage with hazards. But Andy's team, I don't think it has no none of these mons get spikes, so it only has access to rocks. I don't think this will have whirlwind. Um, I could see Anti having supersonic sky strike on his duck tree because his team looks kind of weak to Mega Heracross. And it's probably going to be a fast Zapdos to outspeed Hera. Um, but it's still like Mew Mew probably outspeeds Hera too. But still, like switch ins wise, if Hera comes in on the build, on a chance, it's gonna be tough for Anti. So I don't know if it's eject button Mew, but I could definitely like I definitely assume that it's um, supersonic sky strike on a doggy. Yeah, the, the grass terrain helping out the chancey here, but he's just gonna root. Um, I said roost softball up, and yeah, I've seen Le Venusaur carry Lichi like for the third or fourth time now in World Cup.
I think for the third time. So he goes in the Mew. He didn't want this Chansey to be annoyed by Leech, I guess. He's just gonna Leech. Oh, so oh yeah, 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 Fish for the Poison is the better play. He doesn't get it. Mew has Willow with to annoy his Venus Thor, and Obi doesn't have Heal Bell. Unless Tapu Lele or Majuna. I think Tapu Lele and Majuna get Heal Bell, but I've never seen that run. I don't know if Lele gets it, but I think Majuna gets it. Like, I'm not 100% sure. So he Leech Seed, which works out. And Burn being nerfed is also really helpful for Venusaur, but it's still annoying, obviously, because Venusaur doesn't have leftovers since it's a Mega. Yeah, the Stealth Rock being up is pretty bad for Obi. So, Heal Belmont on Anti's team is either gonna be this Chansey or the Mew. The thing is, if it's Heal Belmont Chansey, it might not have, not have Toxic, which is not really super bad for him, but Toxic could definitely be helpful. To speed up the game a little bit, like or to like toxic the Hooper in a one-on-one -on -one scenario situation. I mean, toxic the Mantine if that defox on you just to speed up the game, like I said. Now, I mean, aggressive terrain is nice for the Venusaur, so it don't take that much. But he has still had to take rocks. Aggressive terrain just cancels out the burn. And yeah, Anti is gonna go to Chansey or Mew. And I think it's gonna be really hard for Obi to win this. Like, like I don't think that Anti has decided to just load up Stall versus Obi. He used Stall himself after he saw Obi's game. I think he planned to bring this versus him for a while. I wanna see if there are any other games. Sorry, ABI has two games open, but I think the other game is just the last Obi game, yeah. So he did show HP fire, I have not seen that so far. What was what what did he click that? I guess he just predicted the protect and he didn't want to waste the sludge bomb PP, yeah that was smart. So he's trying really hard and he's not getting rewarded. Like he's trying to fish for poisons what I'm trying to say. And he finally gets one. And he can either go for synthesis or make it double into something that threatens the Chansey so he can't just heal Bell for free and he makes a double into Lele which is a nice play or rather the switch it wasn't really a double right <coughs> but as Tapu Bulu seems to have some amount like at least max HP I don't know if it has some fist death I kinda wanna calc that it's 39 he just keeps leech seeding it's fine because he just weakens the Venus saw with the rock, so it's forced to um, synthesis up here. So I kind of want to collect the type of little damage. I assume it's just um, shed shell, no boosting item. So I want to collect that versus a Tapu Bulu. Let's say no bolt Tapu Bulu. So he switches into Sableye on the synthesis. And he switches out into Mantine. So he's trying to get rid of the rocks, but he loses his leftovers. And he's going to get burned here if Sableye stays in. Um, the Grass and helping out the Sableye. I think Poison does a little bit more than the Gratitude and heals, but not that much more. He's gonna roost the Defog here. I just wanted to cut the, the Side Shock damage. Side Shock does 41 to 49 to Offensive Bulu, so yeah, the Bulu definitely has some bulk. Let's say Max HP. Max HP Bulu to takes uh, 34 to 40. So he did roost up, Chansey came out, so he switches out scouting for a potential Toxic, I assume. But he just goes for a Seismic Toss. Yeah, I don't think he has Toxic when he has Star Fox softball Seismic Toss. His last move is gonna be Heal Bell, I assume. And, like, Heal Bell was pretty unlikely to me. It could be an option, but I don't think so. So Sashuk was doing how much earlier? Why am I lagging? Don't do this to me, computer. So he did synthesis up. At least it helps out the Venusaur a lot, but these rocks still annoy Obi. Really nice play going into a Tapu Lele. And doubles out into Mammoth, so I'm predicting the. I think the Tapu Bulu, because this Tapu Bulu can come in pretty nicely on Side Shocks, because it has leftovers, protect, and Grazy Terrain basically cancelling out the Side Shock damage. I'm just gonna start on F this. So I can see how much Psyshock did. Yeah, it did 38. And this life or mammoth when there's a fuckload 
to the Mew. But the Mew is faster as we can see here. So yeah, that's what I was saying earlier, this Mew is going to be running a good amount of speed. He gets up the rocks which is really nice for Obi. Because Anti is going to be tempted to default because he has a stall team and stall teams don't like hazards, they like switching. But this burn on the top of Lil is huge. Um, if he doesn't have like some magic move like rest on this and heal on the Majorna, this is going to be really tough for Obi now because he's just going to get worn down and he predicts the Mew to potentially have potentially go for some either heal ball there or I don't know I don't really know what he predicted there but he taunts oh uh, yeah he predicted the defog yeah, yeah he predicted the defog I think so because a lot of these stall teams that carry defog have like double defog new zapdos defog because like the other stall that was no in auras this yell one it's also used a bit in sun moon it had um Zapdos plus Kamui, right? But I think Bengay also used the version that had Mew plus Zapdos. But yeah, that's the Defog. That's why he turned it earlier. It makes sense now. So he's fishing for the poison and he gets it. Man, <laughs> Hooper didn't come out yet. Yeah, that's correct, Mr. in the chat. So he brings in the Tabu Lily and. The last move on the Mew is. Is it what is it? Oh, it's Ice Beam for Zygarde, okay. I mean, yeah, he has a Tapu Bulu, but if Zygarde is gonna click Bandit, Bandit Iron Tail, it's pretty obvious that you wanna have a secondary answer to Zygarde, or like at least a check. And there goes this Tapu Lily, as expected, this is a fast Zapdos, because this team would otherwise be kinda weak to um, SD Continental Crush Landorus. And it also helps with the Heracross, with Heracrosses, yeah exactly, that's what I was talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this can obviously live ahead the Mammoth when it has 6 bad. And he doesn't have good Icicle Crash switchings at all, no Ice Resist. Really interesting take on a stall or semi-stall, now I would still call it stall, and, and we don't call it semi-stall. Just because your Zapdos is fast, I still call it stall. And he goes for Ice Shard, and it works because the Zapdos is in the air. Um, Psychic Turin priority works uh, on Pokemon in the air. Like, Psychic Turin avoids priority from working, but only if the Pokemon is on the ground. So, I can see Anti going for Reversal here, breathing the Ice Shard. And Reversal is gonna kill this Mamoswine. Um, but he goes for Earthquake instead. Okay. I'm probably predicting the Mammoth to go. to not go for Ice Shard. So the eyeshadow is pretty obvious here, but does he really have a switch in? The Mew can switch in and probably live it, and the Mew should outspeed. I think the Mew has shown that it outspeeds this. But I don't know. Yeah, Ice Beam from Mew should kill this. So if he wants to keep this doggy to get a hit off on the Majorna later on, he can go into Mew here on the predicted Ice Shard. If he gets the play correct, then he can threaten this out. The Ice Beam, because it should kill, because Life Up should bring it down pretty low. Yeah, I mean the Hooper set is probably Scarf, they're asking the chat if the Hooper set is revealed, but he did not show any speed control so far, he changed the moves on the top to uh, Lele, even though I thought he was Scarf Lele at first. Yeah, I just seem to... It just seems that I can't predict any of the... <laughs> any of the sets from Tabu Lele these days, when I think it's Scarf, it's always... Not Scarf. I mean, I think on this team, yeah, he has a man time for Volcarona, so it can be and, and a different Scarf. Yeah, he's Scarf Tabu Lily. Of course, he's not Scarf Lily. <laughs> and the other times when they are kind of weak to Volcarona, yeah, yeah, he can't be Scarf Lily. He has to be Zemo for um, Twisted Spoon or Shetchel. And there was Scarf Tabu Lily. So he decided to basically sack off. Oh, he's Chukum again. That's interesting. That would have helped him with Dagi, but now it got knocked off. Um, I think Dagi's self pick is like 82 Majuna. I don't know the exact calc. It's kind of like a head calc. But yeah, he um, pricked Ice Shard, he was willing to sack a sailor, he wanted to keep the doggy. Let me see the game that you just uploaded. If it's public already, it's in private. Um, I'll make that public then. We got that young content for you guys, I'm really on the grind. I think I uploaded 5 or 6 videos already today. 
By the time this goes up even more. So he goes for Ice Beam. Potentially predicting the Tapu Bulu? I don't know. So the Hooper is finally in. And I assume it's gonna be Choice Scarf. And the Hooper is actually looking a little bit like a threat. Not like a super threat. He goes for Gangshot predicting the Tapu Bulu switch. I thought he would go for Psyshock. That was a really nice one. And if this is Scarf, it outspeeds the Duck Trio. And so the Ducky doesn't come in and kill this with a reversal. So that's really useful for Obi. Like, usually Scarf Hooper doesn't do much versus Stall, but it can actually do something at this point. Because the chance he was already weakened, so I didn't want to switch in. I I'm not sure if that was the correct blow going hard on top of Bulu. Maybe second Mew slash Sableye was the play. Like, the Sableye is at 18%. What is it going to heal on? I think sacking the Sableye would have been a better play. Um, I can understand that you want to keep your Sableye around as long as the Mammoth Swine is alive to like scare him from going for rocks, but I think second Sableye would have been fine there. Even though I did not see that gunk shot coming, definitely did not see that gunk shot coming. Um, we don't know if it's um, Scarf Hooper yet. I assume it is Scarf, but we don't know confirmed. Because Tapu Boot was four times weak to gunk shot, so it obviously dies to like every vari variant of Hooper. And that only does 11, which confirms that it's Scarf, that does absolutely nothing. Uh, not only 11, it lives on 11, it only does 30. I mean, he said they still doesn't know said. The terrain is helping out the, the defensive month. The, the poison that he got earlier is coming in clutch here. But the terrain is also helping out Obi. Like, help his Venus so stay healthy. Leech is also really nice in this matchup. And the Sable is um, too low to switch in, so he can always get a free Leech Seed. He gets the heal bell off, so he gets rid of the poison on the Mew on, on the Sable Eye. But the Sable is pretty much dead, so that shouldn't play too big of a role. Like, And he's just gonna fish for another poison on his Mew, and he gets it first try. So he just <laughs> did that to get the heal bell off with the Chansey, and it was all for nothing, he got poisoned again. So I assume we're gonna see the. Magenna or the... Okay, goes hard into Hooper, which is really uh, oh, a bit risky in case he would have gone for will there. But he does predict the, the Roost gets this correct. So he can just click Hyperspace Fury here and I assume that Anti is going to sack off his Sableye. So Obi actually has a chance to win this while... Wow. Like... <laughs> I thought this was hard to win, but... Him getting the poisons kind of often and... At one point he had up rocks. I'm not really sure. I think standard stall might have done better for Ant. This was some creative stall. But it was also that that was definitely a great play the gunk shot earlier on the Tapu Bulu. They ask him if this can break Chansey. I mean it can use trick on the Chansey. So we'll definitely play um, some mind games later on. Uh, Chansey can not hard switch into Hooper, but I assume this is... Um, I'll just calc real quick. I assume this is just Hooper, Unbound, Choice, Scarf. Um, I'll just calc max HP, uh, max attack. So where's Chansey? I assume it is like maybe 45? Maybe 40? Yeah, Drain Rush is 36 to 42. Hyperspurist is uh, 49 to 42 if it's um, a non-attack boosting Hooper. And he shows that he's mixed. So like the Kalk suggests, this Kalk also suggests a hasty, but I mean it suggests a hasty, ha hasty nature, but for some reason the moves are actually yeah, never mind that psychic. But yeah, the chance he can obviously come out because the Hooper was locked into Dark Pools. That's what I'm assuming here, that it has to be Scarf Hooper. I mean I was I don't see what else is a speed control. I'm not really a big fan of Scarf Hooper, but I guess it works in this game. Like it can still if it comes in on the Chansey later. It's gonna play some mind games with Anti. The mind game is kinda um yeah and also the shit again helping out Obi's month here. The mind game is he could potentially go into Duck Trio, predicting the Hooper go to go for the trick, and then the Hooper would be trapped and would lose its scarf and it would get killed by the Duggy. So that could be a potential 50-50 later on, but overall I think Obi has really good chances to win this now. Um Chansey's gonna be low on soft boys uh, in a few turns because he only has 10 and the leech sheet always does 12% and 
And he's just gonna set rocks back up again. That's like, never mind. He doesn't want to take more lead sheet damage. So I think, yeah, that was that was a fine play by Anti. So he's fishing for sludge bomb poison. I assume, never mind. He goes for leech seed. I thought he would sludge bomb poison fish. I guess he predicted the potential chancy. So he gets in the mid -June. This is gonna be completely walled. So he has to switch back. And this time this chance he isn't leech seated so he can stay in and spam rocks on seismic toss versus this Mantan. He obviously doesn't have to predict very much here. And Mantan shows toxic which is really nice for Obi. So you can see he has like cool moves that like help him. Like leech seed helps him with his chance he once gets some health back chance he loses some health. Toxic also does that and eventually eventually forces the chance out. But in the long run the chance he will still get up the rocks because it has more rocks pp than the Mantan has defog. And he was obviously not going hard on the hoop because the Mew could w went for Willowis there, or like could potentially go for Willowis, and obviously did that. But yeah, he's gonna go for synthesis here with his Venusaur. So his set is lacking Gigadrin or lagging, however you say that. I mean, it's not a clear win for Oi, but I think he can still win this. He could have also gone to the Hooper there. And that would have created a mind game if he went to Hooper. So he's gonna root slash toxic here. Well, now he's at full, so he's gonna defog slash toxic. There is the toxic. The chance he's gonna switch back out. Mantan is gonna defog. Okay, so Chanji stays in. I thought he would switch out, but he got rid of another. Th um, yeah, I guess he wants to keep this healthy for Hooper. But like I said, the thing with the Hoopa is if it tricks its scarf away, yeah, Chansey loses the Evilite, but if it gets it wrong with the Duggy, he just loses its Hooper. And like, if he tricks the Chansey its scarf, I think he, it's fine if the Duggy revenges the Hooper, and he misses a Toxic, which sucks, and his Mantan also got Toxic. Um, how did the Mantan get Toxic by the Mew? I'm gonna be a bit behind here because I want to see which one toxic. So Mew came out. Oh, synchronized. Yeah, synchronized. I completely forgot about that. I was about to say, what? This Mew doesn't have toxic. So he missed the toxic, then he hits one. This chance he's gonna go for rocks or side toss. Roost up, get rocks back up. Yeah, the rocks are basically here to stay. But his chance he's kind of running low on softballs. I'll check it next time when it comes back. A nice double lead sheet play. So he just keeps switching out, stall is out of lead sheet. So he gets a poison here, which is a bit helpful. There's only eight soft bolts left. Yeah, Lichy Bus poison brings this chance in low. Mantan coming in here, I assume. It dies to Ice Beam from 6%. So yeah, this Mantan is gone because he couldn't switch out anymore. Because he dies to rocks and yeah. If he stays then he dies to Ice Beam. So Hooper is in and if he clicks Dark Pulse, this is a free chance. So I assume he's gonna predict that and go for trick, but he didn't. Man, I thought I would have gone the turn to go for trick. I mean, maybe he doesn't have it. Gunshot, dark pulls. I don't know what else. Maybe psychic stab, psychic or psychic. And yeah, the Venus was gonna go for leech seed again. Only has four leech seeds left. He's gonna go for synthesis. And we reached the 100 turn mark. Nice leech seed play on a chancy. But yeah, I mean, if the chance he has no softballs left, Hoopa can win this game, like... It's not, like, completely hopeless... ...for OB. So the Mew just roosts, and this uh, Venusaur is fishing for the poison once again. This time he doesn't get it. So he's basically just... ...trying to bring this Venusaur low, because he only has two sentences left. Okay, that's the Flash Bomb Poison, which is really nice. The Venusaur has to keep uh, burn every time, and... Stealth Rock, and since the um, Tapu Bulu died, it doesn't have the grass terrain support, but at least it has the lead sheet to stay somewhat healthy. So he does switch out into Chansey. As Hooper comes out, and if he goes for Trick, it's gonna be bad, but he just goes for Dark Pulse again. Like, I can, s I could have seen, um, I could would have thought about going Doggy there, predicting the Trick. Mm, so the Majorna, it showed Sugarberry, which, which is the Z-Move mod on Obi's team. Maybe the Tapu Lila had a Z-Move, but I thought it was... Maybe the Tapu Lila had a Z-Move and it just didn't reveal it, which is weird. He sex of the Majorna. 
Comes back in Venusaur, the lead sheet. Or synthesis first. I thought the lead sheet first. So heal about the Mew. He only has three heal belts left. But the thing is this Venusaur is running low on sludge bombs. And so it's looking worse and worse for Obi. If he ever went for trick with a hoop on the Chansey, it would have been really nice. Uh, but he still doesn't auto win because his Hooper is getting super low. He finally makes the play of tricking the Chansey. Uh, I think last time he predicted the Duck Chill, which is why he didn't make it. I can understand that. Yeah, okay, so that's oh, Zamrock said. If Obi tricked the duck tree, it's like he's fucked. Exactly, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so he's gonna use his last. No, never mind, he has no synthesis left. He gets a crit, no poison. So this is only has leech seed to keep stay healthy, and it's out of leech seed, so if Chansey switches out, this Venus has no recovery left. I assume Chansey's gonna softball because it's kinda low at the moment. Um, never mind, this Chansey's locked into Seismic Toss. I forgot the choice Garf trick this. Okay, so how many life up hits does Mamoswan have? Mamoswan only has one life up hit after rocks. So I think he might end up losing to the Mew at the end because Hooper dies to Earthquake from the Dagi because it tricked its scarf away. Hmm. Yeah, he just sex the Hooper and Huh. Why did he sack the Hooper first? That was weird. Chansey outspeeds this because of the Choice Scarf and the Memos one just dies to Life Orb, so and he wins the game, but it was closer than expected. At one point where he gung shot where he gung shot the Tabu Bulu, I got really excited and I thought Obi could win this. But yeah, and he still I don't know if you wanna say I had better matchup, but or if he played better, I think he had Matchup was a little bit in his favor, I think. Yeah, like it's not like Obi had like a super good, super crazy stall breaker. Yeah, and he picks up the team, uh, the win for his team Brazil, and I think they're five and four now. Unless I missed another game, I don't think there's any other game going on. So yeah, I'm gonna go make some more thumbnails for my videos. I'm gonna go eat something, and I'm gonna be back later. With more World Cup coverage and thank you guys for watching. Goodbye. And yeah, disappointing to see Obi lose. I mean, he used the last game himself, but still. I mean, it was pretty expected and people predicted Anti to go 3 and 0 in this specific group. I don't remember who the other two people in the group are. Um, I think it's Alexander and Obi and the Anti in this group. I don't know the last person at the moment off the top of my head, but yeah. Goodbye, friends. See you later.